up, y'all? It's your boy, Shop Antoine. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about six to eight lures you just must have to fish the Cape Cod Canal. Oh, but first, before we go any further, I want to remind you guys to please continue to smash that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, make sure it's on all so that you get notified when I come out with these videos. I greatly appreciate it. All right, so this video basically came about because I had a viewer uh, post a comment on one of my videos that reminded me uh, that I never really made this video. You know, I realized that I actually planned to make this video and just forgot that I never did. So when that, when that question was asked, I was like, but wait, didn't I make a video about this? And it turns out I actually didn't. So here we are today. So let us quickly look at these uh, the plugs that you must have to fish the canal. All right, so let's go right ahead and start with the very first one. I'm gonna may not be in, in any particular order, but you're looking at a magic swimmer. You must have the magic swimmer to fish the canal. I always like the biggest and the heaviest ones. So this is the larger one, nine inch, I believe. And it's uh, either four and a half to five ounces. The color, I always fish the canal with either white or macro pattern plugs or even herring pattern plugs. The second one, it's definitely going to be none other than the stick shad, man. Same color patterns matters or doesn't matter, but on the canal it matters. Um, I like the bigger ones, the fast sinking, whichever one you want to call them. All right, and the third one is going to be an SP minnow. Or now there's going to be variation. It doesn't have to be an SP minnow. Or matter of fact, for all of these plugs, there is some variation. But uh, when the mackerel are in, especially the Tinker Mac, or when the the uh, mackerel are getting pushed up really close to shore, uh, you want to be throwing an SP minnow. It'll be very beneficial or any of the uh, the minnow type plugs, but SP minnows do a really good job at mimicking the mackerel there. All right, so let's move right along to number four, which is going to be a pencil. Now, I like guppy pencils for several reasons. It's like I might need to get a new one. Um, and, and specifically, a pencil that has a flat bottom. They call them a canal pencil. Any pencil that has a flat bottom near the head is a canal pencil and that's because um, they'll they allow you that flat bottom allows you to work the plug in that very fast current it's moving at like five five knots or so if it has a round bottom I find that it you know it kind of the current sweeps it away but with the flat bottom pencil here um, you can work it in the current a lot more longer and a lot more it just looks a little more enticing now I also use an outcast uh, pencil which has a round bottom um, but like I said you can use one with the round bottom you just kind of have to um, I guess cast up current a little bit more because you're gonna have less time working it because the current will sweep it on by all right but you gotta have you gotta have that especially when the fish are on top man um, now the next plug you have to have is an owl gag now there is going to be some variation, just like with pencils, you know, or all these plugs, like I said previously, there is going to be some variation. Um, what I mean by that is, is you can either use an owl gag or what my boy Lou likes to use religiously, uh, which is a savage. Owl gags and savages are, you know, that's the, um, the variation that I'm talking about. We, you know the jig heads that have a paddle tail on them but these two on the on the canal I think do the most damage um, but another variation to that now is a regular old jig head with a mega shad I fish mega shads heavy man I'm telling you when they when they get picky I find that mega shads whew, they do damage even in different variations of using the mega shads um, I also like to use a bucktail, a good old 
fashion bucktail this one's a little bit beat up thanks to the bluefish of last season but um a bucktail and a fat cow jig strip you can't go wrong man you cannot go wrong um you'd be surprised man when they're really picky they're on peanuts or you know maybe smaller baits or they're just being picky everything hits a bucktail remember that so I've, I've, I've gotten many a fish on bucktails when they weren't hitting anything else. Now, in, in terms of variation now, what I often do, which I don't have here at the moment, if I could find a picture, I'll put it up. But I will often put a mega shag on a bucktail. And I usually crush them with this, especially in a very specific area. For whatever reason, they really like mega shads on bucktails. All right, so that's basically, you know, that's, the gist of what you're going to need to fish the Cape Cod Canal with, man. I'll go through it real quick. Mega Shad. I mean, um, Magic Swimmer. Stick Shad. Rigged up like that. Please don't put a, a, a hook on the rear. Rig it up like this, okay? Get yourself a split ring, swivel, another split ring, and the hook. Three out hook, four out hook. All right. Um, SP Minnow. Any type of variation of the minnow plugs, mag daughters, whatever. Uh, a pencil, preferably a flat bottom pencil. Bucktail, all right, and then your um your jigging machines. Got your Al gags, your savage, mega shag, and uh, jig head. All right. That is all. Well, all right, well, that's going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please continue to smash that like button, subscribe. And um, stay tuned to the channel. Make your video suggestions in the comments below. Have a blessed day and peace out.